So if you're like 90% of the world right now, you're struggling to catch a crappie. Oh man, it's a tragedy out there guys, but I'm gonna show you a simple way to get more fish in your boat this year. Let's go. You know, I get this question a lot. What's the deal with summer crappie? You know, the fillets are mushy. You gotta leave them in ice overnight to even eat these bad boys. You know, your fish are dying real fast in the live well, etc. But why do I only catch a few here? And the whole brush pile is just stacked with, you know, 50 plus fish that look like a good 10 inchers or 10 to 14 inch fish well guys let's talk about it so basically the number one rule of crappy fishing in the summer let me get a drum roll you got to move you got you got to move it move it okay so you know there, there's other aspects of this that you know combined with everything You've got heat, you've got the thermocline, you've got all these party boaters rocking over your brush piles, you know. There's a lot of elements to why the fish don't bite as good in the summertime. But, how do you go out there and get a limit? That's the question. That is the question. It's not why they don't bite in the summertime because if you're like me, if you're like a lot of people, you're going to pull up to your favorite brush pile you know, in 15 to 30 foot of water, you're gonna take the crappy man jig out there. You know, that jig's gonna hit the water, and it's gonna go down. And for one fish or two fish that's hungry, gonna come up there and commit. And then you're sitting there. You know, you you've got you, you either seen these fish on side scan, on 2D, down image. Your buddy told you that they're there. Are you looking at them right now with four fades and sonar? They don't want nothing. You change colors, you change sizes, you change everything. Well, it's time to move. So in today's video, we're gonna cover, you know, how to have the best chances of getting your limit of crappy this year when it's 100 degrees. It's 100 degrees right now. I'm, ugh. I just came out of AC, us Americans, we are some AC users. <laughs> but let's talk about it. So in the summer, crappy have, you know, three key windows of a day and not every crappy is gonna have these three key windows. When you pull up to a brush pile, it could be the key window for 10 of those fish or one of those fish or none of those fish. It's the certain type, not certain type, certain time of day that they're going to eat and they're going to be extremely picky because they don't need to feed that much because there's a lot of little bait fish. The key word there is little. There's a lot of freshly hatched shad from the shad spawn. There's a lot of freshly hatched minnows, freshly hatched this, freshly hatched that. You got bass fry, crappy fry, bluegill fry. So if you're out there throwing a two inch snipe beaver amazing bait don't get me wrong if you're sniping fish out in the open use this that's why it's called a snipe beaver but if you're fishing a brush pile with 50 to 100 crappy i mean this is this is almost two times bigger than the shad that they're eating on the brush pile so i'm going to flip the camera around we're going to talk about downsizing and i'm going to explain why you need to move and we got some fish catches to go over so so a typical summer day you're gonna start out you know 90% of the time I'm gonna use the little minnow I mean 
they're eating this this freshly freshly hatched shad there's absolutely nothing that's going to touch the little minnow especially in the green or the monkey milk because you know together they look more like a shad than a white in my opinion just for this time of year because they're so small they're gonna have all the little green in them reflecting and you know maybe a little blue so we have a color called bluegrass and the dual colors that's gonna be coming soon that is just identical and you know if they don't want to bite that you put one of these little stinkers on and I'm telling you that joker right there if, if, the, if you got a crappy on your brush pile that's hungry they're gonna bite it and you can't beat a 164 ounce jig head y'all see how small that is it takes this jig head forever to go over that brush pile and it gives you the most amount of time to get a bite we've been over you know the, the lures to use the jig heads to use you can get them all at crappymanjigs.com y'all know the deal we make all these me and my daddy just two people me and the crappy man we sit here and this is Zach's seat right here and we're making them so you if you're buying them you're supporting us and i love it also hit the subscribe button if you haven't already but so i'm gonna explain the day that we had yesterday and then we're gonna play some clips to prove that i'm not just talking hee honk you know we caught a hee honk yesterday but i'm not just talking hee honk when you pull up to a brush pile, you know, we're, we're down scanning every brush pile before we fish it. Side scanning, you know, we see fish on it. We know we, we're going to stop. We're going to, you know, either whip out the live scope or not use the live scope. We barely even used it yesterday because this pattern lasts until it gets 80 degrees again. And then, you know, you can sit at a brush and maybe limit out. But right now, you're going to pull up to a brush, a bridge, uh, a stick in the water. You're going to catch one two maybe five fish maximum and then they're gonna quit you're gonna be like oh my god let me pick up the whole tackle box and just throw it at them no you need to pull your trolling motor up and you need to go find either a a new brush pilot b a new bridge or c go go home because it's hot <laughs> get you enough to eat and leave put those bad boys on ice with some frank's red hot but when you pull up to this brush pile, it's going to be loaded. You know, they school up tight in the summer. Tight. But you're only going to get so many of them to commit. You know, you may pull up at the exact time of a feeding frenzy and limit out on the brush. Congratulations. You know, if you want to leave that comment down below that, you know, you limit out every day, that's fine. You know, but for a normal person, they're going to pull up to that brush, they're going to catch three to five fish, and they're going to completely shut off you're going to catch the ones that's active when you pull up now you may be able to come back to that brush in an hour and catch three to five fish or one i mean it, it depends on the time of day so i'm gonna roll the clip from the fishing trip and you'll see you know we change sceneries pretty much after every three to five fish like i'm saying and this pattern holds true until that water temperature starts dropping the water temperature where we're at right now is in the 80s when that water temp gets us back in the about the low 70s, you know, at middle 70s probably, that's when you can start sniping them good. That's when you can start finding the schools that are active at the same time. You can fire them up and get your limit. If you're enjoying this video so far, make sure you hit that thumbs up button for me. It helps turning fishing out a lot. It promotes my channel to other people so they can learn how to fish. And that's the goal of this channel. So I invite you to hit the subscribe button if you like to learn how to catch more crappy, how to catch more bass and all of that. And I love that you're here. So we're going out. We're going to go fish some bridges, some brush piles, some docks. And I'm going to show you that this technique is why you're struggling. Because if you see a bunch of fish there and they ain't biting, you need to go find a bunch more fish and get one or two of them to bite. And eventually, if you got like 10 brushes, you get a limit. Now, if you say you don't have 10 brushes, that gives you ample amount of time to cool off riding around and look for more brushes. So.
<laughs> I ain't got my eight inch vision right now. Yeah. Catch another one, I change my damn color. So if you catch another one, I have to change my color. Oh, I put a monkey milk on. <laughs> yeah, they wearing them out. Five to nothing. That one got bigger. So that one got bigger. Yeah. I gotta, I gotta let him get a little bit of lead. <laughs> Feel like a goo. Oh, no. Oh, no. Get out of my hole. Catch him back up. Crappy. <laughs> it wasn't a crappy. Uh, that joke was about to run with it too. Yeah. He, he was all the way to the middle before we get down untied. Y'all come up under here. We were trying to, the wind was blowing harder than this. But then there was a boat coming in here. Man, this joker. Mm -hmm. Got him a good one. Oh, oh yeah, got the money. A hee haw. <laughs> 